Welcome everyone to the very first live streamed remote concert uh, that I know of for a big band in the United States. Uh, this is very exciting. We know that other bands are doing this in Europe, um, but they have fiber optic networks to their home. We don't, so we're, um, we are uh, very excited to bring this to you. I'm like, seriously excited. I've been doing this for years, and we were just talking with the band that we were, we have pre-concert jitters right now, because we have no idea what's going to happen. It's very exciting. Um, <laughs> I think what I'd like to do is get right to the music, though, first. Um, during, well, as, as we play this, because we're using this new software called Jamulus, and it deals with very low uh, time to communicate from one, one place to the other, um, occasionally the packets get sent to different places, and they arrive in different orders. And you might hear what sounds a little bit like a bubbly sound or a little underwater sound, or maybe a little pop. That's really common for this technology, especially on the copper networks that we have in the United States. So um, if you hear that, it's totally normal, but we're still able to play with each other and interact in real time. None of this is pre-recorded, zero, which is why we're nervous. This is just like being on the stage. Um, so it's very exciting. And uh, we're gonna start out with a, a tune uh, by, arranged by Joe, Joe, Jody Fiore. It's a jazz standard called Limehouse Blues. It's going to feature uh, Owen Richard on soprano sax. Eli Nania on alto sax. It's going to feature Rob Rain on bass. Uh, Grant Gretsch is going to check in all the way from UCLA. Yeah, the guitar player is down at UCLA. Go Bruins. Um, and <laughs> he's fantastic. We'll, we'll talk, I'll tell you how I met him later. And Matt Krepke on tenor saxophone, who we'll talk a little bit about later as well. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. And our drummer, Tyler, is the one who counts all this off. So Tyler, if you could take it away. Thank you. 
Man, that's fun. You can tell we're all having fun. And the comments, I tell you, Kyle, you have a relative from Oregon watching right now. Uh, and the Pogo comment. I'm reading the comments on uh, YouTube it's, it's so you know we're in real time now. What, what's with the Pogo Master? We need to talk about this because there's a lot of people in here. Pogo is Pokemon Go, by the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, this is, and this is how our rehearsals are, too. They kind of go off the rails every now and then. But we always come back to the music. We always concentrate on playing great music. We, we have obnoxious roommates who come in behind during the concert. <laughs> so, um, let, let me talk about the, the uh, oh, first off, I forgot to mention at the outset, how about Tyler on that last tune? Hey, can I do some Dodger Stadium stuff? How about Tyler on that last tune? Nice, got a little applause there for Tyler. And <laughs> Tyler, as you can tell, is the locomotive behind the group here. Um, he keeps us running. He's got a, a Met going in his ear, and sometimes he pays attention, and sometimes he doesn't. Um, because the music kind of takes us other places sometimes, but he's, he's the one that we're all listening down to all the time. Um, and then the other person I forgot to mention there is Jay, our fine pianist, Jay Real there, and uh, just a fine soloist and an all-around great player. Just we're so blessed with uh, wonderful musicians in this band. So other people coming in from other places, we have Jason Crystal there, who's coming in from uh, Thousand Oaks, California. Um, and Kevin Romans from, uh, he's tuning from Ojai. I guess most of the rest of us, besides Grant, who's down, as I said, is in UCLA. Um, most of us are in the Santa Barbara area. Um, so that helps a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just want to um, talk a little bit about Matt Krepke here, our fabulous tenor player who's been with the band for several years. And um, uh, he is, the reason why we put this concert on so early is because he's moving. Um, um, the first of the month, uh, he's going up to Oregon. Uh, oh, okay. Going up to Oregon. You can talk to me. You can talk to me. You can hear me. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you I know. You don't have to pass the mic over to me or anything. <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> don't, don't have, have to do that. Uh, to take over house uh, with my lovely girlfriend. I'm very excited. So, so yes. Gonna so, he's going to be up in, in Oregon, and um, we bought a house up there. Congratulations to Matt. Um, but I wanted to make sure that we had a good send-off concert for him. So, this is really, really fun. Um, not only do we have the chat going on YouTube, but there's also a chat here on the Zoom uh, within the band members, which is always fun to read, and I'm not allowed to read you it uh, to you. So, <laughs> our next tune is going to feature Matt Krepke, um, and it's a tune that when I heard it, I just had Matt in my head. Um, it's called Elieska. It's a tune by Steve Williams. Um, it's not only going to feature Matt Krepke on tenor sax, it's also going to feature James Watson for a beautiful phrase on the trumpet too. Um, but this is this will mostly, uh, mostly be Matt's vehicle. Uh, before we start, uh, let's get a quick B flat and we'll tune the doubles.
amazing. Just what a pleasure. <laughs> Matt, I can't tell you how much fun it's been over the years having you in the band. Big time. Big time. Me too, Jeff. Thank you. <sighs> this is a weird way to go out, though, isn't it? That's <laughs> very strange. Um, strange times. But we're playing together, and that's the exciting thing. So um, I want to show um, the folks at home kind of the back end of what's going on here so you can see what's, uh, what's going on with the stream. I've uh, set up a few things here in OBS um, so you can see them. Maybe while we're playing, I'll, I'll let you see uh, the faders. I'll bring those in so you can see them in the stream. And then also the, uh, the, the settings that we have in January. So when you look at the settings, which you're going to really want to look at, are the numbers where it says in the lower uh, right, where it says ping time and overall delay. Those are our magic numbers. Those are the numbers that we live and die for. And when uh, the overall delay is too high, we hear but uh, When it's good, we hear but uh. <laughs> So that's our delay, basically. When you hear the drummer play, we're hearing it that, that much late, about 40, 50 milliseconds late, but uh. So that's what we're dealing with as we, as we do this. And uh, I'll just show you some of those as we're playing so you can kind of see what's going on. I'm mixing this all live, um, and they're all controlling their own levels at home as well. And so they've had to learn how to deal with this audio equipment um, that's new for, for... How many of you have dealt with this kind of audio equipment before? Just a show of hands. So less than half the band, really. Um, so this has been a real learning experience tech-wise for us as, as well. Um, the great thing is if they plug this into a, a program like Pro Tools um, or um, even something like GarageBand, they can get a really good sound for their audition tapes now for, for your schools. And so that's kind of another um, ulterior motive we have here in, in running this software. Well, I think I'm going to go on and uh, we're going to play the most difficult tune uh, that we have. In fact, we really shouldn't be playing this piece of music over this medium. But we cite Reddit, which is something that we can do still. We cite read tunes, which is amazing. Um, and we cite read this tune, and the band was like, no, eh, let's do it. And I'm like, no, we can't do it. There's delays too high. Um, and so we're going to do it anyway. It's, uh, it's by Jeremy Levy, um, who just came out with a great uh, version. He's got a big band that did a version of the planets, all the movements of the planets. It's phenomenal. This is from an earlier uh, record, uh, CD. Sorry, record, Halloween. Uh, 95 to 64 is the name of the tune, and it's going to feature Grant Gretsch on guitar. Um, and uh, let's see, I think this is also, I think Jay's going to start this one out, right, Jay? Okay. You guys feeling good? You ready to go? Grant, stop typing the chat. This is what I have to do during rehearsal, by the way. I have to say, stop typing the chat. Let's go. Just let me know when to start. <laughs> All right, you guys good? All right, let's, let's kick, kick it off. off. Here, Here we go. go. This will be 95 or 64. All right.
Oh, I love to see Kevin Roman's expression when we finish that tune. Especially when we get it. <laughs> yeah, Kevin. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Wow, how about that rhythm section? Oh, the, oh, the love coming in on the YouTube chat, folks. Yeah, and rhythm section, amazing. Um, I mean, Jay Real on piano. Chris Story, Christopher Story on uh, piano as well. He was doing the funky clap when you heard it at the end there. Uh, Rob Moreno on bass. Tyler Herzog on drum set. Just amazing solo there as well, Tyler. Beautifully played. And uh, Grant Gretsch again on the guitar solo featured on that one. So thanks so much, Grant. So Grant and I met, uh, Grant, give him a mic there. No, okay. Grant and I met, um, we actually met on Janulus. Uh, so the thing about Janulus is when you download the software, it's free. Try it. If you're a musician and listen to this, just download Janulus. Try it. Download it. Um, it'll throw up all kinds of flags. This software will damage your computer. It won't. It's good software. Um, so uh, it's just, it's experimental. So they think it's got hackers. It's not. The guy is awesome. Uh, his name is Volker Fischer. He's in Germany and he's developing the software. And James Watson has. Uh, made suggestions to him to uh, on various uh, one of the improvements in the software. Um, so he's really this nice guy who interacts with all his users. Um, and you can download this, install it, and there's all these rooms where you can just kind of click in, and there's you'll find this guitar player in there and a drummer, and you can before you know it, you're playing. I ended up playing some uh, West Virginia coal mining music one day. Um, which was amazing because the players were really good. So sometimes they're really good and sometimes, you know, they're, they're learning. But um, it's always fun. So check it out. We met, Tyler, uh, Grant and I met on, on one of these servers up in, when we were in San Carlos, right? Yeah. And another great bass player from the Bay Area, Charlie. Charlie Channel is his name. And we started jamming together and, and I said, hey, we have our guitar player, you know, going on to another school. Do you want to sit in with us this semester because we can do it. And he's like, yeah, sure, because he sounded great. He had the setup and, uh, and uh, just, it's a pleasure having you along, Grant. Thanks. And the fact that he goes to UCLA is an added bonus. Alma mater. All right. Um, the next tune we're going to play, did I forget anything, anybody? Um, oh, I, I know what I need to say. Um, thanks to um, the, the, finance department at City College, San Rosa City College, for getting us, um, for arranging us to get this for us to get this equipment in time for the first day of school, actually before the first day of school. Um, and I also really want to make a shout out to the IT department, uh, Brandon Lovelace and um, Jim Clark in the IT department at, at SPCC. James Watson and I set up the first servers. We tested them out. Our orchestra, orchestra members, I see some of you in the chat. Thank you. Band, concert band members, they were the ones who jumped on the server to stress test it. So thanks to you for doing that. Um, and then we had <laughs> James made a Mac server. I made a PC server. And we're, we're now running off a Linux box um, that's housed at Santa Barbara City College that Brandon Lovelace set up in our, our, our IT department. So um, Sorry, that was really nerdy, I'm sure, but for most of you. But just know that there's a back end to this, that, you know, the music is the product, but like any other music, there's, um, there's a tree uh, that has to grow there. Um, for the music education, you know, we have to have that great music in our schools at the very beginning. Um, and so far, so good. We're, we hope that it makes it through this, uh, the, the COVID um, era. But... Um, we now have to have two trees growing at the same time. We have to have a musical tree growing and a tech tree growing, and we brought those together here tonight. Um, so uh, with that, I'll say thanks, a big thanks to James Watson as well. Um, and our, stop James, I saw that look. That was, <laughs> he's, he is a tech guru, and we're very fortunate to have him uh, at the college, as well as being a great intro player. Um, so we're gonna finish today uh, with a uh, tune that, well, last time we played this, uh, it's an Alan Faust tune. The last time we played it was with the great Clark Terry in 2006 on stage at the Garden Theater at San Diego City College. Uh, we've been blessed with a lot of great uh, guest soloists and Clark Terry was among those for sure. 
Um, we're going to feature on this one Eli Nania on alto sax, Tom Bowie, and Kevin Roman on trombone, trombone and palooza, as I like to call it. Uh, Simon Vondell on tenor sax, <laughs> and Matt Krepke on tenor sax. This one's called Cold Tater Stump. Thanks for listening.
I don't know. Should I do that Dodger Stadium in the plaza at the end? I just feel it feels so incomplete. I'll just look at the chat and know the love is there. It's awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. The internet gods were not perfect today. There was a little bubbly and poppiness happening, but not terrible. What is it? It was not as good as Tuesday, but not as bad as yesterday, um, internet-wise. So, but playing, why, I mean, I'm just going to say this while we're streaming. I'm so proud of all of you for coming through and trying this grand experiment. It hasn't been easy. Uh, I remember our first rehearsals, just getting used to the fact that everything was behind. As, as, you know, as musicians, we're trained to, to put the beat in subdivisions that are so fine that it defines what groove is, a different kind of groove. And right now, we, that is blown away. And we're having to tr basically try to reconstruct that. Uh, it's like trying to see clearly through broken glasses. That's the internet. The internet is those broken glasses. Um, so we're, we're putting it back together and we're trying to place it as best we can time-wise. Um, but the beauty of this is we're sight reading, we're learning, we're playing new tunes. Um, man, I mean, I don't think we could have done that leading tune, um, <laughs> trying to build it track by track. And the interactivity, you heard it, between the keyboard and the bass and the drums and all the soloists, that's why we do this. Um, it's very, very exciting. And so I want to thank everybody for watching today. Um, band members, do you have anything to, I, I would ask them normally to stand up and take a bow, but I don't want them to right now because I don't know if they're wearing pants. That's the internet. Uh, so, <laughs> anybody want to say anything? Y'all want to say goodbye before we go? Thank you so much for coming. Yes, thanks everybody. So just so you know, we have about 150 people on the screen uh, all the time. Yeah, yeah, not bad. So thanks very much, everybody, for coming. And um, I'd say drive safe, but if you just got to drive to your uh, fridge to get another one. So um, <laughs> drive safe. <laughs> thanks. Good night, everybody. I'll roll some credits here so you can see the nice people who we need to thank.